Hello, YouTubers. Welcome back. Uh, uh, I don't know. Um, all right, we're back where we left off. At least I think. Yep. Here's the plan. Last week, on another island, we found an old air tanker. It's damaged, but we could repair it and escape. The boats can get us out into island, but by air. That seems to be the only way out of here. Andrew's mission was to find gas for the plane. This is your job now. Uh, Problem is, night is coming. And you need to know, some really freaky creatures come out. They only attack when it's dark. Hey, I'll give you my personal flashlight to go to the village. All right. Kovacs rules. Chapter three. Skills. Yeah. We've already seen that. Here we go. All right. There we go. All right. Now we just gotta light this motherfucker a campfire. So to figure where campfires at. This should be enough to keep them at bay. As promised, here's my flashlight. If they come after, aim the light at them, and they will stay away from us. Okay? All right, good. Let's get back to the real issue the gasoline. I spotted a small village. You will find it at the top of this island. With my machete and flashlight, you should be able to find it. If there's food on this island, it's gonna be there. So find a jerry can, make sure it's filled, and come back. You understand? You find fuel, and you halfway to freedom. I'll wait for you here. I'm sorry. If I could run, <laughs> if I could even walk, I could run. Good luck to you, my friend. You, lie, you can too, walk. How are you walking now, that bastard? I don't know what the hell is this. I just did something, what did I just do? Uh oh. Whatever that is, I used it. What's this? crafting system in this game. I remember when I played a while back ago, um, you can craft a, uh, fuck. You can craft a uh, bow and arrow, so there's a pretty decent crafting system in this game. Ah, uh, cheers, zombie! Oh my god, it's a lot of zombies. I know I have that one. Kovacs mm. rules. Chapter oh. four, survival by night. Beware, another kind of monster appears at night. There are many of these and they are aggressive, but they hate the light. You can easily keep them at bay with a torch. Or a flashlight. 
When you sense night coming on, check for your flashlight. You won't want to be caught without it in the dark. Uh, uh, two. Ah. Nothing in here. That sucks. Oh, I think you gotta burn this shit. I believe so. It's been a while since I played this. I don't really know that much. Somewhere. Oh shit. No, it's just to drink water. Well, actually, I guess I don't have a food bar or anything like that yet, so I guess I'm still in the beginning of the game where you don't get any of that stuff. Oh, you can cut it down too. Okay. Jesus Christ. Wish I wish I would have thought of that. There animals? Oh man, a lot of zombies. Bastard's dead. Ah, oh, I went the wrong way anyways. God damn it, keep turning that off. pretty fun game, not gonna lie. Again, I still enjoy it way more than Daisy, so... That's really the one thing I can actually say about this game, is that I do find it more enjoyable than Daisy. Again, I know there's probably gonna be some people who well, I love Daisy. It's like, that's cool if you like Daisy, but, uh... What's this? Rules. Chapter 5. 
bows and arrows. The bow is the sound you can create. And the quietest. Select a flexible branch, then combine it with a reel of twine. For arrows, combine a wooden stick with your machete. Making arrows is easy, but getting them back is even easier. So always collect them after a fight, no matter where they are stuck. Oh, shit! I can craft. some arrows. I guess I got it equipped it, I'm assuming. Alright, hold on real quick. I am sort of lost here. I guess I can go back to him now. Alright, cool. I keep turning off that flashlight, don't I? There we go, got one campfire going. Ooh, nice. Don't know what that is, but I'll take it too. Let's see if I've uh, leveled up or not. Nope. Is there a, uh, I don't know, is there a progression? Oh yeah, there is right there.
that you can equip the armor too. That's pretty awesome. This is a pretty fucking awesome survival game. Uh, like I said before, it's it's not bad. If you like zombie survival games, I I would definitely suggest um, this or or the survivalist, which is on the indie game marketplace on the Xbox 360. Uh, I'm not sure if it's on the PlayStation. Uh, it probably is. I know a lot of the indie games that are on the Xbox are also on the PlayStation. So um, again, they're great survival games. Um, I'm pretty sure this one's on here uh, on uh, this game right here. This or uh, blah, blah, blah. how to survive. I'm pretty sure it's on the PlayStation because I don't think it's an uh, Xbox exclusive. Um, so it should definitely be on PlayStation. Uh, but yeah, this is actually a pretty good game. The reason why I say I'm pretty sure is I don't really know. Um, I don't I don't own a PlayStation, so honestly I can't really say. But uh, I don't remember this being quoted as an exclusive. So yeah, yeah if you want a great zombie survival game, uh, this, this would be it. So you could definitely check it out. Should be enough to get us out of here. Shit. Look. They may be another survivor. Go see who it is. I'll prep the boat to take us to the air tanker. Don't worry. I'll be ready by the time you get back. Alright. Sweet. Yay! Mission complete. Well, YouTubers, uh. I think if you watch my videos before, you should always know this is where I'm always going to leave an episode off. So, uh, yeah, please like, comment, subscribe, and I hope you enjoyed.